Let's kick this shit. You hit it off with a bumper nice straight down the middle again. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot, you're rolling out the alley and all again. I tried to cradle you with my flip. Hi guys, welcome back to Straight Down the Middle. We're this, back! This is Greg and this is Zach. You guys know us, you love us, I hope. If this is your first time checking out this video, hold on tight, because here we go. Greg, what are we doing today? Top 10. Oh, that's a good one. Top 10, you like top 10. I love top 10. Do you want me to finish? <laughs> Most underrated games. <gasps> This is a damn good top 10. Damn good the top, top 10. 10 most underrated pinball machines. I'll tell you right out of the gate, you know what didn't what are you make tell it? Me right out of fought for? What? Jurassic Park Lost World should have been uh, on that list. You know what? Why didn't we have that? That was a good. Uh, no, actually, you kind of like it now. You're a little better. I do now. I think it's under. Like That's an underrated, underrated game. But I, I, I can only fight for that game so much. You were talking about X Files being very underrated. I kind of agree. X Files is. Didn't but it's still kind of tough. 10. It's still kind of a tough game. It's a good game. It's a very shallow. Yeah, very underrated, a but shallow. there's more underrated. So agree with us, disagree with us. It doesn't matter. What we need you to do is follow and like us here uh, at YouTube and go over to the Facebook, the yeah. Facebooks, and Facebook. follow and like that. And in the comments section, tell us if you agree, if you disagree. That's nah, not underrated. Or, oh, that game sucks. No. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, put your own down there. Yeah. Okay, so we had our honorable mentions, Greg. Uh, let's let's kick it off here. The top ten most underrated mm -hmm. pinball machines of all time, to us, mm -hmm. are the following. Start with number ten. Number ten is a game that I think is not only one of the best contemporary machines, Agreed. but one of the best stern pinball machines made. And boy, when it was announced and released, people didn't buy it. They didn't. People, no, not really. People did not really buy much of it. What? They come out in three trim levels. It was more of a boutique Kapow title. They came out instead of Pro Premium LE. It yeah, because Kamikau Kamikau designed it. Platinum Diamond. What the fuck? Are the we... Beatles. <laughs> what you what you what are you looking at? <laughs> I was like, like at number nine. I'm like I'm looking at number ten. That is I was number looking at number one. I mean. <laughs> I was like, well, Kamikau designed it. So, yeah. I was like, there was three trim levels. Like, I was sitting here going, I want that fucking <laughs> I want the LED. I want the platinum one. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm talking about the Beatles. <laughs> no, Kamikau didn't know. Uh, it was George Gomez, who tweaked the Sea yeah. Witch layout and yes. perfected it. Yes. Added some toys, spinning discs, some yeah. magnet use. We've got drop targets galore. Yep. You've got repeatable looping shot. You've got a code now in it that is yep. superior uh, to Sea Witch. Where yes. You, oh man, it's like a casino slot machine. It whenever you get to the shoots better than Sea Witch. Tax Man, I believe, Wizard yeah. Mode. There's so much in that game. Yep. It is the Beatles. And it's the Beatles. It's the Beatles. Beatles. And, and it was one of my dream themes. Remember when we did that old video, the yes. top ten dream themes? Yeah. One of my dream themes. You get the assets from the yep. music. You get the film assets from uh, yep. when they filmed Ringo and then they filmed McCartney yep. and Lennon. Oh. And you know how you know that it's. It, it, and I think that it's going to be like that with a lot of these. Well, not a lot of these games. Some of them are not going to be that way. But people who own the game. Mm-hmm. They're the ones who enjoy it. Yes. It's underrated because a lot of these are very underrated and underappreciated because people just won't give them a chance. That's why they're yeah. on this list. A limited yeah. run. It's, it's not people though. who own them or, or have a lot of time on them that underappreciate mm -hmm. them. We're just talking, like, people Mr. don't give them a chance. Uh, the artwork. It's beautiful. Franchi's artwork. I mean, it's beautiful. where does this fall short? That's probably one the of his price? best games. People say the price. The price. That's what The price. I like. have a hard time buying that game. But it's a fun game, and, it, and, and is it worth it compared to some other pins? I don't care. I still, sense, yeah. I still say it's underrated because it's a blast to play, especially, how many stirring games can you really say, Greg, that, man, when I got a group of people over playing, Everybody it's perfect for yeah. that. Yeah. It's perfect for that. Yeah. But the bill of materials on this, everybody's like, oh, I don't have two plastic ramps. Yeah. You think two plastic ramps is really what boosts uh, a bill of material? Yeah. No. The bill of materials on the Beatles is just as much, if not more, yeah. than a regular pro yeah. or premium pinball yeah. machine. You're taking license, coils, drops, everything. Yes. It's, it's It adds up. It's all there. It adds up. It's just well, a, and again, I will be, I am one of the strongest advocates that it does not take toys and mechs to yeah. make a fun pin. Yeah. It does. It's underrated, and that's why it's Fair our number so. 10. Number nine, mm -hmm. the most underrated pinball machines, the ninth most underrated pinball machines, is one that the theme it's makes horrible. me puke a little <laughs> in my mouth. But I still want one. 
It's so fun. Yep. I like the main toy in it. Yes. The flow is a flow monster. Is a, yeah. Doesn't have any pop bumpers because it doesn't need them. Nope. It's a Steve Ritchie game yep. back in the Bally Williams 90s eras. It's no fear, dangerous sports. Ooh, no fear. You guys remember those t-shirts? <laughs> oh, God. I had a buddy that wore oh, just no fear. I went to a I school never owned all, one no I never fear won, shirt. No, no, I refused to buy one. Even I was a in, Jinko guy. I was a, you know, Sean Jung. I wore some shit, believe me. Fubu. But yeah, Fubu. Did fubu. Oh, Chelsea told me. Chelsea was like, fubu. you should buy him a Fubu outfit. Yeah. A rocker wear. Like back into the, the day. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but no, it, it is. It's like you said, like, there's so much going for it. The code is good. I like all the stuff with dirt bike, like, you know, all the different yeah. action sports that you go the through. The skull, great. Yeah, and the different stuff you have to like hit. mocks you. And yeah. The upper flipper loop. Yeah. The repeatable jump ramp yeah. loop. It's a fast, fun game with a lot of shots. Yes, like, it is. It, it's a game that if you made today and you rethemed it, would be a that success, be, a gigantic success. But like you said, that horseshoe loop, yep. oh, that we know yep. Richie so well at. And, and as bad as I hate the theme, it, like I said, it's still a pin I want to own. Hate that theme. I'm just not putting Artwork it in my sucks. main room. It's staying hidden. It is. That is it's a, staying hidden. But I want to play it. I want to play because I've played it on location. Yeah. I love it every time you I play it. You take her out of town when you take her out. Yeah. <laughs> you take yeah. her out of town. Not in the same Don't zip code, you're good. It. No Fear Dangerous Sports number nine. Really, really. And some of the people that own and play that, they'll agree with yeah. me on that. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. That's a really yeah. good game. And if you have, play one on location, man, drop a few coin in there. Mm -hmm. Drop fun. target to block that little button. This mm. is good. Number eight, the number eighth rated, uh, most underappreciated, uh, underrated too. game. Yeah. It's a Jersey Jack. It's a Jersey Jack game. And I'm a little mixed on whether this is underrated. I think it's underrated because it get. I think a lot of people knock it. That don't really understand it. People don't give this game a chance. No, they and can't it may get past be, it. it may be the best Jersey Jack pinball machine. I can. I don't think it is, but it may be. It may be because there is something special and something different about it. But that is yeah. Willy Wonka and yeah. the chocolate. It's not factor. the Hobbit here. No, on our top ten no. list, it's yeah. Willy Wonka. Because I would have said the same thing. Like I have with a few games, Zach dropped one off, loaned it to me because he was a major play. Yeah, made me play because you know he wanted you us to be able to review like, it. Yeah. You know all this stuff. So he, he gave me a loaner and. I fell in love with it. Oh, jeez. It shoots well. Just some of the shots on there are the best. In that Lawler layout was beautiful. It's a it's smooth. Brutal. It is brutal. It is brutal. That's what's weird about it because it's floaty, it's smooth, mm -hmm. but it's tough. It's tough. It is tough. Out lanes are mean. Yes. It, but, oh, man. It's just some of those shots, like that TV shot sneak it in there. Yeah. That's a feel good shot. The ramp diverter to but the, the magnet, TV shot. That's spinner. what's crazy is that TV mm. shot. That's one of the tough things is that's what everything boils down to. That's your modes. That's where you're wanting to start everything. Yeah. That's where you need to do everything. And it could be your tough. mysteries yeah. and multipliers. And, and I honestly think and, and, and that it's the code. Like I, don't, I just don't think people wrap their head around the code I mean, and the structure of the code. And it takes a little bit of learning. And there, there's, genius there. there's some people that I know that, that played it quite a bit that still just didn't comprehend the code. Mm -hmm. And once you grasp the stacking and what all you need to do, it opens up even more, and I enjoyed it even more. Mm -hmm. But I think the best thing, like you said, is the shot. It's the layout. It's it's Waller. It was. I could argue, tell him blue in the face, that it is a better. Masterful. It is a better pinball machine than Wizard of Oz. Yeah, um, very much so. It's very much so. When you compare it to Dialed In, it's tough. I think it's it checks enough boxes. It's better than Dialed In. Yeah. Um, it checks enough boxes. Yeah. It checks enough boxes overall. Um, I, I prefer it over Pirates. I really prefer it over Pirates. That's crazy, but I do. It shoots better. It's, it's a just narrow body. a traditional pinball machine. There's not a lot of wizardry and gimmicks. There's not a lot of... Uh, I don't know it's what one to say about it. best It's just ever. classic. Doesn't yeah, it feel classic? It, feel it is classic. a classic pinball machine. Make sure to check out the Straight Down the Middle uh, Willy Wonka review yeah. for more information on that. Number seven, underrated pinball machines. The seventh most underrated pinball machine is one I had to fight for. Because Greg was like, I <sighs> gotta let him have it. Yeah, I let you have it. I don't know enough about it. Uh, it's my baby back there. You're carrying this see one back there. There she is. It's Popeye. Fine, you can turn it off if you want to. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Popeye is one of the greatest Bally Williams in the '90s, much less a super pin. I rave about Popeye because of not only its beauty. It's a Python Angelo yeah, artwork. Python's I mean, that amazing. guy is odd and, and different. Yeah. Beautiful artwork. I like I like the theme. Uh, they create like a new atmosphere and a new storyline for Popeye. It is one of the deepest super pins. Nobody ever thinks about that. It's one of the most difficult codes ever. Uh, no one ever worries about that. The damn upper playfield mini wizard kind of thing up there, finding uh, Sweet Pea, unbelievably difficult. 
This thing has replayability like no other Bally Williams Super Pen. It, it's just a fact. It's got all kinds of toys, all kinds of gaz gadgets, and it's the modes are really tough in it. It's a very difficult game, but people poo-poo it. Uh, because of some of the the lore that surrounds the early production of this thing. I talked to Barry Alser, he was the designer of yeah. this game, wanted to do a piece with him on Popeye, and even he said, damn, Zach, like, you, you pick any game that I've done. I've done so many games, and really, you're going to pick Popeye. Popeye is a hidden gem. It is very, very underrated. And for the price right now, you're getting a lot of game. Well, and here's why I won't really argue bucks. with you, is I've seen a few people pop up, mm -hmm. and... and it, Popeye owners, or when a Popeye is for sale, I've seen quite a few people pop up and give the sentiment that it is very underrated and yeah. that people don't appreciate that game for what it is when you own it. So I, I don't have time on it, but when I see multiple I listen. People think it looks like a toilet bowl. Oh, I think it looks Look, cool, dude. Non-pinball non people come in here and they're like, this is a really cool looking game. Yeah, I think it's neat looking. It's Man, there's a With world the boat It's a big I, yeah. ship. Yeah, it's neat. It's and Blue Dose really 3D. Cool. I agree. Give Popeye a chance. Yeah. Own it. Give it a chance. I got to give you that you. one. I like it when something's on the list that I have to do that with. The wait is over. A revolution in LED lighting for your pinball is finally here. Fully customizable, full spectrum lighting from Pin Stadium Lights. Order yours now at pinstadium.com. Chrome it, brass it, black nickel it, candy chrome it, powder coat it. The possibilities are endless at pinballplating.com. Your pinball machine deserves the best. At Comet Pinball, you'll find the best variety of LED products with the best quality LEDs, and most importantly, at the best price. Your collection is begging for an upgrade. Order yours now at CometPinball.com. Check out Pin Graphics for the latest and greatest in pinball enhancements, power blades, blade skins, pin blades, and even more. Visit PinGraphics.com now to see what's available for your pinball machine. To kick us off with number six then, since I've left a lot of poor taste in people's mouths there with number This is a pin that I express every time I play yeah. or talk about it, that I will mm. always fight for this pin. I will too. And that is Stern Pinballs. Stranger thing. Deal with it, people. Yeah. It is an it's a underrated game. pinball it machine. Is. One of my favorites in the last it handful is. of years by Stern Pinball. I agree. And the code oh. is what makes it for me. Mm. Shots are fun though too. They are. I'm not mad at Brian. Left for orbit doing to the right ramp. Left that left Inner orbit. orbit. It, that is one of my favorite. In the clunk that it makes. I'm sorry. The spin. It's yes. It's it is in a right orbit that comes out the left orbit. And it's a good shooter. It that is right ramp shooter. is tough to hit. It's fun hitting the Demogorgon. I know yeah. you had trouble yeah. with yours. And a lot of people did. I can hit mine. Yeah, I can hit mine. But, mine you know, mine was fixed. I think a lot of other people. I don't know if they issued a fix for because I thought I heard somebody say that they it's had a just, fix. That pen needs tweaking. It needs tweaking. There, I'm there still are some, trying to tweak my telekinesis yeah, multiball. There are some minor wow. design flaws, but I've heard some people telekinesis works fine. I know. Like, but you want something, especially in this kind of product, to come out. But besides that point, it is super underrated. Yes. With its code, with its shooting. With I think it's just the toys and mechanisms. This thing took so many chances and brings so many things in 2020 that people yeah. just <clears throat> never seen. A, 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 a projection mapping yeah. dis displays? Yeah. Come on, man. That's unbelievable. <laughs> a ball that locks on the backboard yep. in the air. Yeah. And then you've got the UV kit that shines embedded ink that is UV reactive. Get out of here. <sighs> the theme is unbelievable. And, and it's a hard thing when you spend that much money to, to defend ingenuity and trying to move sure. forward. It sure. is. It is. Because sure. the, the, the projector could be brighter. It could be a little crisper. Sure. Uh, telekine telekinesis Absolutely. could work right. But art could be a little better. I sure. still, I will always argue. Like I don't want to, like I want a pen that works, and I want everything to work. But I also don't want to hinder them for trying something new because that's what we all bitch yes. about. We want something new, and and every time I do look at that projector, I'm kind of like. I think that I want to upgrade to the premium because mm -hmm. I kind of want it. It's still kind of cool, and I really want to see that in more pins yeah. and everything. But to me, it's still if the you color. like Stranger Things, I, there's no way you don't like this pen. No. People no. just, it's the fun thing to kick. Yeah. It's the fun thing to push. It is. Because, like you said, like when it came out, people talked about it being barren. Yeah. That, that it you got to pay for the UV kit. That's yeah. Bullshit. There wasn't a lot there. there. I think a lot of people attacked it. But again, it's like Star Wars or anything else that we talked Like Beatles. Like you don't always need a bunch of toys and mechs to make a game yeah. fun. But there are 
These are very Some innovative toys. toys. In there. Yeah, and it's just shoots. It's just fun to shoot. You want to know how I know for a fact that that's underrated? Because it will not leave my collection. No, the only Won't reason leave. the only reason I sold mine is because I am a, a, a fucking penny pension asshole, and like I saw the price dipping. And you're like, no, so fast and so hard. It. I was like, I had to get rid of it, but I didn't want to sell it. I like, sat proud with an LA. I was like, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, held in strong, and I, oh, I, I don't care. I wish I would have because I still. And my wife Mine's misses it. Mine's beautiful too. My wife. Yeah, that's misses crazy. It. Man, that's crazy. What about number five on the most underrated pinball machines ever made? That's another oh. Sega. Sega's just are underrated yeah. in general. Yeah. But this is probably my favorite Sega. I love it. Godzilla! Yes, Godzilla. Joe Balser. Yep. I think it's one of your boys. Hello. Hands. It is. I'd rather, I'll tell you this, you can call me stupid, just talk all kinds of shit everybody wants to, but I would rather shoot Godzilla and play Godzilla than what I would Simpsons. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Like that's how. And look where Simpsons sets. I know. Look at all the praise Simpsons get. Now, and Godzilla's expensive now. It is. Didn't make a because lot. Because it's rare. Didn't make it a lot. It was at the end of, of the peak of pinball. The code is good on those. Yeah. You're trying to stack that five multi ball yeah. all at once and then cat. Yeah. Oh, and Shots the, the, are good. the molding? Yep. Molding's badass. Oh. One of the largest ramps in pinball. The largest ramp in pinball. The, the largest, largest ramp singular in ramp in pinball. Like a single piece. Piece. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's, it's kind of pretty. It is it's pretty. kind of a pretty game. It does. It lights up well. Like you said, like, like can you imagine having a sculpt like that in a pen today? Never. No. No. Never. No. It's insanity. The Groot is about the closest yeah. you're going to get. Yeah. Groot. Yep. It has oh. a neat, unique head on it. It was a different, it was still a showcase, but it was different than the other Sega showcase. It's a cool game. It is a cool game, It's a really man. cool game. Fun I like call the, outs. the Paul Prince with the inserts yes, that light that up. light up. There was a lot going on with that game. Man, that man. art on the slings plastics were ugly. I've, I've told this story before, but like I, I first played it in Louisville and I couldn't get off of it. That was like, at a show at Expo, oh, Louisville Alec. Expo, yeah. yeah. And me and Alec Cars Marchick yeah. played it yeah. and everything. Like battled him on it, and and like I, that was you got what hundred plus games there mm -hmm. in pins, and like that was the game I played. I paid an admission to go in and play one game. <laughs> I, I bought one. I didn't think I'd ever get rid of it, but I needed to cycle through and play yeah. different games, and that one held a. Pr I, I basically was given a price that I couldn't turn down. Yeah. Well, and it was it still happens. early on. Like, I, I think that if you were to get one now, if it would have came It'd along, it'd be ever bit of that price. You would. No, I'm just saying it would have probably kept in your collection more. Oh yeah. We, we were at a point of, of. I only had three yeah. games. Yeah, and feeling out more games and everything. I agree. Yeah, if you're gonna do that solid like that Iron Man rule set or that um, mm -hmm. that Avatar rule set, this is that rule set. Very. It really is. The fourth. Ooh. The fourth highest underrated pinball machine is one of my favorite early solid states. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I don't know, some people may say, Greg, this isn't really underrated. People love this game. But you'll see why we underrate it. Uh, it's Meteor. It is Meteor. Oh, it's Meteor. Electronics, Meteor. It is the best, maybe the best spinner rip shot in all of pinball. I could agree. It is very addictive. Mm -hmm. uh, competitively, it's so fun to play with friends when you're trying yeah. to match up. Quick-ish games. Mm -hmm. You're building up that uh, that spinner jackpot, and then yeah. you're hitting it. Uh, there's some nuance to the code too that makes it fun. It's not the prettiest thing, but I I fall on the side of what you just said. Like I kind of consider it to be not a popular game, but not an overlooked game. It's just for the why price. Do you, why do you like where where are you coming from that the, you the feel? reason that it's so underrated is because you can pick one of these things up for like fifteen hundred bucks. Yes. Give me this over Fathom, over Sea Witch, over. Give me this okay. over Quicksilver. Give me okay. this over. Give me this over Eight Ball Deluxe. Give me this over every damn early solid state. I think it is probably the single greatest early solid state game ever made. I can. I can. And it's Meteor. I can. They made fine. shit ton of these things. People have yeah. them in their garage and they don't care mm -hmm. anything about them. It's that good. That's why it's underrated. It's just maybe it's appreciated, but it needs to be appreciated more so than all these. Other fathom, everybody's got to have. Fathom. I can okay. Bullshit. Good Meteor, argument. Meteor's three times yeah. the game that fathom is. Good argument. I agree. Yeah. Get yourself a meteor if you want to really experience early solid state. You got your drop targets, your spinner. Mm -hmm. Meteor is it. Good point. Oh, number three is one I need to get back. I, I just need to get this underrated pin back. I need to restore it. Um, and believe it or not, it may. Be topping my favorite System 11 ever made past Ooh. World. Whirlwind's there. Whirlwind's the number one System 11 for me. 
this one may surpass it. You don't see them often. No. They're very expensive. Very. But every time you talk about, you hear people talk about, oh, it's my favorite System 11. Yeah. It doesn't get as much love. People well, forget about it. But you know uh, something, a reason. It's underrated. That, uh, there, go ahead and announce what it is real quick so we can get into it. It's Bally's it. Radical. I think that a lot of that falls into that it's a semi-rare pin. Yes. You don't see it. Nope. And people, they're always torched. Yes. People don't torched. want those ramps are irreplaceable. Yeah. They're making some of them, but not all of them. Yeah. Yet. So I think that it's it's more from an aspect that I think that it's just people haven't been able to play it. Yeah. They haven't been able to enjoy it for what it is. It was ahead of its time. And yeah. I know it's very dated 80s. Yeah. And a lot of people get turned off of that, too. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I love the color scheme. Yeah. But the mechanisms. I mean, that, that snake thing that... I've never seen this done in pinball, Greg, where you lock a ball physically, right? Yes. You physically ball lock. And then when you shoot the next one in there, it uses it, it shoots it preemptively when you hit the switch, shoots it so it knocks it mm -hmm. back out like a captive yeah. ball. That is genius. It's got ramp diverters. It's got ramps everywhere. This is the insane thing. It's the very first time, because I'd, I'd never, I'd, I'd heard of it briefly, but then when Zach got his, I'd never really laid eyes on it or put much mm -hmm. thought into it. And when I played it a few times and I'm sitting there looking at it, I'm like, dude, who the hell Design this like I was expecting. The guy that really, no, didn't I was expecting anything. you to come out with somebody like Borg or somebody back in the yeah. day. You know, somebody maybe one of Richie's or the first like ones something new. crazy like when they were a brand new designer and they really tried some mm. neat stuff. Like one hit wonder guy. Yeah, and I was just like, they, you named the dude at that point, and I was just like, who the hell is that dude? Yeah, <laughs> and it's fucking such insane, a dude. Because it's game. a, it, it's like you said, it's ahead of its time. Yeah, it very much is. It's neat. Very much is. Got to get me a radical. Oh, yeah. so cool. Can't believe I got rid of that one. Mm. Scary don't one. Number two is one that you love and one that just people scream all of the time. They like just it. scream it. And it's underappreciated because, again, in its classification era of games, mm -hmm. it might be one of the best. Yeah. That that uh, 90s Bally William DMD, it's Jackbot. Yeah. Jackbot's not, a good not game. Pinbot. Not Bright not, Pinbot. Uh, sure as hell like Bright Pinbot. I like Bright Pinbot. Jackbot. Too. Jackbot People is good. People love Jackbot. One of our buddies, Chris Mann, said that easily, he, he bought it just because it was cheap, easily one of his favorite pins he's ever played in his life. And we hear that echoed by a lot of the community. I agree. I agree. It, it's underrated because you just don't really see anybody like searching for one. I don't it's guess. It's not pretty. But I know a lot of very good Call pinball players and a lot of people. It's just a fun. It's one. another pinball feel. Yeah, but it's a fun set. It's the, the, it's the code. It's fun. Yeah, because it it's is. the internal games. It's... I've been told it's the ultimate risk reward game. Yeah. You go into that casino, uh, that casino mode, and you're yeah. trying to build up, and you're trying not yes. to get your whammy, you're trying not to, to yeah. max out and, and bankrupt yourself. It is, and it's a fun shooter. Yeah. That's why people love Pinbot. Shooter. It's taking Pinbot to the yeah. next level. Yeah. Uh, into the '90s with code. And it's Pinbot's easy, but it. it's not because it can, it can, it, you, you need to hit your shots. Yeah. You people don't appreciate that. People love WPCs. You I know. Yeah. They love How WPCs. Do you not? But this is one that people don't talk about all the time. No, I'd take a jackpot. I'm like, you, but you know the price. It's it's cheap, but for a, a decent one, mm -hmm. it's certain to creep. Yeah, they're they're not real cheap. Catching on. Yeah, they are. But it's still very underrated. It's a pinball players game. Yeah, you're you're not going to appreciate this if you're looking. No, if you're looking for an Adams Family or Twilight Zone no. with those with those licenses. Exactly. You're not going to see. You that. need to love pinball. You got to love pinball. Yep, agree. That leaves us one left. <laughs> the smile on his face. It leaves one left. Straight down the middle is the most underrated pinball machine of all time. <laughs> is a Data East? How oh, could it not be? A Data East? If you take one category of oh. everything that's underrated, it's Data East and Sega. A so how could number Data one East? not be a Data East? Tell them what it is. Leave the weapon three. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Lethal Weapon 3, Greg Bone. <laughs> Sing your praises. Why oh is it the most God. underrated pinball machine? You told me, you tell me at least once a week, viewer. Uh, once a week, Greg, <laughs> in the middle of a conversation, I'm like, hey, I took my wife out to Oh Charlie's Say. He's like, hey, I got to tell you something. I'm like, what? And he's like, I'll never get rid of Lethal, <laughs> lethal Weapon 3. It'll never leave my I'm collection. usually down there in the I'm game like, room just okay, looking at it. Okay, all right. Like, okay. It'll never go anywhere. It, no, it won't. It's Lethal Weapon. I mean, who didn't grow up on Lethal Weapon? Lethal Weapon. Yeah, but it's, it's great. Not like it's Iconic Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. It's more, way it's more not, of a Christmas movie. Yeah. It opens up. Okay. It's in Christmas. It all happens during Christmas. Die it's beautiful. Hard. Yeah. It's it's even more Christmas. Gremlins it's Die Hard too. Like Grim yeah, Gremlins Christmas yeah. movie. The artwork is atrocious, but sure so is. fitting and so fun. The callouts 
are so horrendous. Repetitive. Yeah, so, I don't think there is repetitive. Well, Leo there. wants, no. Leo gets. I think people over, I, I think that that's one of those things that hurts it, that people over, over hype. Okay, okay. It's not, it, the calls are not that bad. Same thing with, with Shoot the, the Pyramid. Top with, no, you got ZZ Top, you got CNC Music Factory, and you got the theme. You get the pick from three tracks. Three tracks. Three tracks. Three tracks. But the shots, it's a Kamikau pin. That's why the first one when you were talking about Kamikau, I was like, oh, we're jumping off. Leave the weapon three. It is, the shots are fun. It's simple. It it just, the entire thing from the artwork to the call out. Spinner to, shots. To everything. Ramp. It just says 90s. Ramp. Yes, it just says 90s. And, and I just... I still cannot put my finger on what makes this game so much fun, but you talk to someone who owns it and they're going to tell you, yeah. it's a freaking fun pin. It is, it really is just fun. a fun pin. The code is simple. It's easy to understand. You're basically just shooting spinners or three saucers. The entire damn game is all you're doing. But it's tough. Like, ask anybody yeah. to you think, that's simple as hell. I can blow up Ninja Turtles. It's special. It is special. Yeah, Stranger Things before I can blow up Lethal Weapon 3. I'm gonna agree with you 100. This is this is a game that I shit on for a long time. Yeah, and then you know what? Yep. I, I faced the music. I had to play it. Had to own it. I owned it, and it is a damn good game. Fun, especially for the price. Yep. Uh, it's a it's a theme that I do like. Yep. I don't mind the theme. I like that you get music, yep. uh, different music. I happen to really like the layout. I think that is great. The orbit is, but I love the orbit on this game. Yep. My favorite part's the movie sequences. Getting them in those one, two, three saucers, yeah. starting that move, movie sequence, and then pressing the gun. It's, it's just fun and novel. It sounds stupid, but you're getting to watch it's something. Simple, you're waiting cool. for it, and you never oh, miss. Tells that. a story. Yeah, you it's a hit moment. It, exactly. It is a moment. And, and the building that's got flashes in yes. it that blows up and stuff. It's chaotic. You know, and even even you go into your video yeah. mode. You think that's going to be stupid, but you're sharpshooting. Your, your targets are spinning around, and there's oh, a that's guy with a the flower. It's fun, yeah, because it's flower. hard, and you're just like you're really trying to concentrate, which takes your mind. <sighs> I think it's thoughtless video modes that suck and even the flipper thing it it's kind of stupid but it's oh, chaotic yeah where you're fighting it's 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 a gimmick but all the gimmicks in this work yes it and, does. and i don't want to dog anybody but there was uh, some recent code that came out for this game that somebody redid really i didn't yes, know about and this. i heard good stuff about it but a lot of people were complaining you kind of want to move some settings because they were like hey listen you kind of removed the chaos of the game. You toned things down a little too much yeah. with the chaoticness and the randomness of it, and that's what and made that game special. Yeah, that's yeah. what made that game special. You're and taking it, the nerd out of it now. That's why we love the nerd. Yeah, yeah and that's the thing. It's making it popular. Yeah. Come on now. Don't take the pin serious. You cannot take it serious. If you come in and you just want to have a good time and have a challenge. That's why people listen to game. vinyl, huh? It'll never leave. I You're love it. The most underrated pinball machine of all time is Data East Lethal Weapon. And we both agree on it. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people. You're gonna, you can pick up one for about $2,000, if not a little bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth that money. And probably one of the best first pins that you can buy if you're just getting into the hobby. Oh, very opinion. much so. So, Daddy East, you're going to learn how to fix and tinker and solder yeah. and stuff. Uh, but it's got a lot to offer you. I agree with that. Yep. Greg, what do people need to do? They need to go check out our other videos. Yeah. Ooh, here soon, if we don't already have one in the playlist down there, the top 10 most overrated Ooh, pinball machines. Now that's going to irk some people. You think this video oh, gets you riled up. Man. Wait till you talk about those overrated ones. Absolutely. So we've got that. Also follow uh, Chuck Wirt on Straight Down the Middle Twitch feed. Uh, he does yeah. live streaming there, does some killer tutorials, as well as uh, Carrie Hart. If you're trying to figure out how to do it yourself on pinball machines, whether it's uh, refurbishing a pinball mm -hmm. machine, fixing this or that, uh, Carrie Hart is going to help you with that. Uh, and if you're ready to buy a daddy, you can contact Flipping Out Pinball to make Don't sure Don't contact me. I I don't any have one uh, on the used market, but we do sell brand new pinball machines, Stern, Jersey Jack Pinball, Chicago Gaming Company, American Pinball, and much, much more coming soon. This is straight down the middle. We would appreciate a follow, a like, and continued support. Hell, if you want to throw us a donation, we're at PayPal. I believe it's sdtmpinball at gmail.com PayPal. So you can do that as well. We always appreciate the donations, the gifts, and all of the special uh, thanks. Email is sdtmpinball at gmail.com. Go buy a pinball machine. You owe it to yourself. Especially a Daddy East. Especially Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. A oh, Beatles. Flippingoutpinball.com. See you guys later. You hit it off with the bumper nice straight down the middle again. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot. You're rolling out the alley and all again. I tried to cradle you with my foot.